Wow, welcome. How did it feel to be out there on the TEDxYYC stage? Good. Fantastic. Yeah. Very cool. Can you describe to those that didn't have a chance to see it yet, what were you doing out there today? I was doing the aerial silks and Karen was accompanying me. Fantastic. And had you ever worked together before this moment? Nope. Nope. Wow. <laughs> wow. The, a, a lot of improvisational uh, uh, playing going on up there. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. So a lot of like feeding off of each other's energies, hey? Mm -hmm. That's really neat. And so tell us a little bit more about yourself, Karen. Um, how long have you been playing your instrument? What kind of got you inspired to start playing? Well, my sister is the reason I probably picked up the violin in the first place because of sibling rivalry, really. <laughs> but, uh, I'd almost given up on it when I finished all my exams and then fell in love with busking and mm -hmm. live performance and through that learned uh, a lot of different genres, flamenco, gypsy music, uh, prog rock, all, all sorts of different genres and I just fell in love with the instrument all over again and wow. I'm never going to give it up now. Wow, that's great. And how about for yourself? How did you get involved um, in doing in doing so in doing um, all well so many things? I mean, we could go on about all yeah. of them. Yeah. Yeah. Many different <laughs> areas. Yeah, yeah. Well, I started dancing. I was dancing my whole life, twenty years of training, and then I decided I lived in Toronto for a while and moved back to Calgary, and I wanted to keep training, mm -hmm. but not necessarily in dance. So I picked up circus arts. Wow. And Ariel. And what, what motivated that change to the circus arts? You said you, like, you wanted something new. Yeah. What intrigued you about circus arts? Um, it was a good extension from ballet because I have the grace and the, the lines, the extensions. It was just the strength I had to build because it's actually surprisingly hard. <laughs> <laughs> I, I completely believe it. I very much believe it. Uh, I have tried to do it once in my lifetime, and I only got about you know this high yeah. off the ground yeah. Yeah. compared to the what I saw you do. Totally wow. Well, <laughs> so what was the, was there a message behind what you were hoping to kind of send to viewers today? Um, for us both, I'd say, probably since we talked about it a great deal, um, Inspiration and creativity feed off each other, and improvisation is one of those pure expressions of creativity. And to have people who have the ability to interpret emotion and 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 desire in such a way without using words, without uh, a clearly defined script, mm, uh, yeah. it, it sparks off that feeling like there's another dimension to what you can do. Wow, that's really neat. I like I like where you're going with that. Is you know, it gives us that visualization of what inspiration could look like, rather than just how it maybe sounds or. Mm -hmm. that's very Plus, neat. I wish I could go up the drapes. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you wanted to add? Well, the same thing. Uh, creativity and improvisation. Like I got stuck up at the stilks just now. Really? But I had to be like, okay, well, I know a few other things I can do while stuck. So. <laughs> wow. <laughs> just improv fly in the moment. She. Went along with me, so. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. You never would have been able to know that there was a stuck mode. <laughs> you persevered through brilliantly. You have to. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, if you are interested in seeing their full performance and catching the entire episode, please stay tuned to www.tedxyyc.com to see the full show because it really was an inspiring and beautiful act. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you.